local chef, Andrew Nutter, has just released his second cookbook, Nuts About Food, The Art of Seriously Good Cooking. And here he is, obviously, to tell Hello, us all evening. about it. Sir, this is your second yeah, book? Yeah, the second one. The first one was globally sold out, so I'm really chuffed with that. But uh, hence the, uh, the Bible here. This time, 242 pages. Of just gloriousness. Yeah, what? it was fantastic recipes and good food as well, so, you know. So what will we get from this one that we didn't get from the first one? Well, this one is based on me and my passion. Uh, I'm really serious about food, and most people think I'm a bit of a comedy genius in the kitchen but this says I am actually serious I really take my understanding of food and the way it's actually worked I'm a shared knowledge and I just want to pass it on to everyone um, and is there a lot of local because I know you're quite passionate about local products and lo local pro produce aren't you yeah so there's a section in the back actually it says all about the producers so people can actually ring up and actually find out where all the farms are that where I actually source all the ingredients but uh, there's one special page there. I've actually done it in style of you there. Style oh, in the city. These were the, that Eat was the day. <laughs> this is my days when I used to do style in the city. Andrew's done me a, a shoe. Look at that. Studded with crystals and yeah. little cherries there dipped in multicoloured chocolates. You know. Now we're looking at that and, and people in the kitchen are going, I can't make that. Do you make it understandable Well, for us? what it is, it's aimed at the home cook who aspires to cook like a professional. So there are very many tips and techniques. All little sort of, uh, sort of cheats in a way that you can actually... Pull it all together and create a really fantastic feast for your family and friends. Are you not robbing Peter to pay Paul here? Are you not making us not go to your restaurant because we can well, cook it at home? it's the amount of washing up, really. That's, <laughs> uh, that sort of uh, changes things around. It's, uh, you know, when people are actually cooking, if they want to put together a three-course meal, I'm not necessarily doing every dish from that. So maybe it's sort of on, when you're entertaining, maybe pick one or two different dishes, try those, tweet them around, and hopefully then you'll come up with a winner. Now, you had a star-studded event, didn't you, to launch the book? Yeah, go it on, was, uh, make, drop was, some names for us. It was us. Monday night, and <laughs> we lit up the whole restaurant with, uh, with sort of uh, torches, uh, we had fireworks exploding, the whole thing was lit up with lasers. Uh, we had Gary Neville there, we had guys from uh, Coronation Street there. It was just an absolute all singing, all dancing event. And what we did was, uh, I'd actually blown up images of the book, and we actually cho choreographed, is that how you pronounce it? Choreographed, yeah. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, all coming down the catwalk. Uh -huh. we, we did a three minute hit, smoke machine was out, lasers were out, and it was just completely, it just wowed everyone. And literally, everyone went out and bought the book, it was fantastic. Well, Andy Crane, our invite must have got lost in the post for that one. <laughs> we didn't get an invite for that one, did no. we? No, no. Anyway, Christmas is round the corner. Yep. What tips can you... It's a very, very stressful time in the kitchen. It's hot. The mother-in-law's round. What tips can you give us? Right, tips. A lot of it's pre-preparation. Uh, there are a few little ideas, of course, in the book. But a lot of things, say, for example, is get the things done the day before, like prep your vegetables to a certain stage. If you're doing like, all different vegetables, pour boil them or pour bake them so they're near enough cut through. So you really, you're only just warming them through for the last five minutes of cooking time. So if I do that the day before, so if I parboiled, say, my sprouts, yep. and then the next day, Christmas Day, I dip them into boiling hot water and well, do, carry them on. My little tip there is blanch them as normal until they're al dente. So You've straight, said blanch, you've lost me already. Right, straight into boiling water. Then straight into ice cold water. Now this is seizes then the colouring. Right? right. Makes it all stay nice and green and also retains all the vitamins and minerals. What you do then is coat it in some butter. Yeah. Right? Just melted butter over the top when it's cold. Yeah. And that will actually glaze it all. Yeah. Now all you do is place it on a tray, bang that in your oven the following day for yeah. five minutes and it'll come out perfect. Oh. And you can do that with so many vegetables as well, it's ideal. Can you? I'll just yeah. come to you, I think. <laughs> yeah. uh, we can't, we, we, we're nearly out of time, but what is Something this? Just, I'll well, just I'll just have a small taste, it's right. nearly this tea. This recipe is actually in the book as well. My it's... God, that's huge. I, well, I know I've got a big gob. It's a dark but... and white chocolate tour. It's absolutely amazing. It's full of fudge, full of mm. like little... Oh, that's horrible, yeah. <laughs> Nobody else is going to enjoy that. Best leave that here for me. <laughs> mm. And there's fruit, so it's good for me. Yeah, very healthy. That's beautiful. So we can make that as well. Yeah, yeah. They don't necessarily. There are different tips on how you can actually do them, but I've built it all together into one there, little designer. Wonderful. Dessert. Thank you very much. Hey, it's my pleasure. I'll be down to the restaurant soon. <laughs> Get us a glass of champagne on ice. See you right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Cheers.